2K Sports pregame show. Terrific shot of Nathan Phillips Square. We are... And the game is going global. You're right. Thank you, D.A. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. Green and Rondo in the backcourt. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's James in at the small forward. And for Toronto, Siakam at power forward. With Gasol at center. Right band bleed out there with Lowry, and it's Powell in at the three spot. The veteran presence of Danny Green keeping his eyes up, finding his teammate wide open. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Great focus on the defensive end there to contest that shot. And this is where you would prefer to work the ball to someone else for just a better look. An occasional over-the-back call is fine with him. That's just how he plays and how he attacks the glass. It's how a lot of people play now. Rebounding techniques have changed over the years. Purists would say, not for the better. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. A sh no good. The Lakers on offense. Four-point game. And you know what, Smitty? One of the best shot blockers among wings, Danny Green. You know, he's a chase-down artist in transition. He does not give up on plays at all. Now, here's Lowry. Gasol finds Lowry. Let's it go from deep. Lowry can't get that one to fall. Four shots, four misses. And you can sense a certain frustration building. And boy, I tell you what, you want to talk about a long bomb. Good luck catching that thing, Clinton. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And Davis sends it back. What a play by Anthony Davis. You think you can get it over me? Nope, not on my watch. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Now here's Paul. And they get it. And the layup is good. First make of the day should finally give them a little confidence. For whatever reason, they came in a little tight tonight. That should loosen them up. And the shot goes in. Oh, great ball movement there. Toronto's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Now here's Van Vliet. Defense right on him. And there's the pass to Gasol. Over Davis. Will not go. This is off the front iron. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. Three-pointer. Kuzma can't get it to go. Raptors trail by eight. Lowry inside the line. Pass to Van Vliet. Lock at six. Goes back up. And the Raptors miss again. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. A nice shot by LeBron. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Now here is Lowry. Pass to Powell. And they call an illegal screen here. Out of town, the 2018 draft, Smitty. Who do you think has the highest ceiling of that group? Kevin, I love that question because it's not who's the best player who has the best talent. It's the ceiling. I think Jaron Jackson Jr., Marvin Bagley, those guys have so much room to grow. The Doncic and the Trey Young, those guys are fantastic. They have room to grow, but I think those two have a lot of room to grow, and they're already good. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Last season, the trade request for Anthony Davis became public. A $50,000 fine when his agent confirmed it. A tough situation for him and New Orleans. 
And a minutes restriction last season for Anthony Davis. There was talk, Smitty, of shutting him down completely. The league said no, Kevin. The fans, you know, he's still a fan favorite in New Orleans, and they paid their money to see him in large part. Now a new team. Hopefully it works out for everybody. <laughs> against Siakam. Pass to McCaw. Cloak loose and stolen by Kuzma. James has a two-pointer. There's the feed to Davis. Count that bucket. Davis has got six points. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Knocks it loose. Rondo with the steal. Here's Kuzma. In chance shot and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. He plays with such a fearlessness. Kuzma is terrific at staying engaged and forcing the issue. And Kyle Kuzma, a late pick in the 2017 draft, but he's shown that he's as strong a prospect as any. Yeah, flew under the radar as a prospect, but came in with a very refined game and was an impact player early on. Has already started to expand his game. Should see an even bigger role as he develops as a player. And Kuzma slams it in. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Here's Van Vliet following the bucket by the Lakers. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Rajon Rondo. And only six feet tall in shoes. Fred Van Vliet's not the biggest, but his toughness for his toughness, mentally and physically, is unquestioned. And Kevin, growing up in Rockford, Illinois, gave him that perspective. Friends and family gone too soon. Basketball was the path to something better. Raptors trail by 14. Here's McCall. And the pass to Pop. Six to shoot. Here's McCall, guarded by Green. Hope he'll get another chance. Lakers leading by 14. Down low, and it's Davis with the jam. What a beautiful play, and it was great timing. Then the athletic finish by AD. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. They get a hand on it, and out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first quarter. James wide open. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got his fifth assist in this one. Siakam against Kuzma. And here is Siakam. From deep. And that one released in time, but no good. Defensively, this is what they... Davis gives you the rare versatility to switch. And so it's Kyle Kuzma making.